Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Raw. Today what I'm going to be doing is bringing you a review testing of the Siberia 200 Steel Series. Now guys, this got shipped to me a couple of days ago, but I was waiting until the right moment to make this video. So as you can see here, this is it. I'm really excited to do this. This would have never been possible without you guys. I just want to say thank you to you all for being a part of the Raw Army and just being here, supporting me, watching my videos over the past years and stuff, and giving me this opportunity. Thank you to Steel Series and also thank you to Sandbox as well guys. So big shout out to you. And guys if you wait till the end of this video there will be an opportunity for you to win a headset as well so thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy when i got this shipped to me it was in a very nice box and very secure as you can see here the box is very nicely designed and um, the front and also the back when you open it up it's very secured with the tie wraps and you can see that this is the best gaming headset for its price at this class Steel Series have kind of put this out to the gaming community and also the competitive scene so they're really smart by doing that Obviously being a gamer myself I do know what I want as a headset and I do know that it's good to have a comfortable headset with no pain while gaming. The value of this headset is at £59, there are 7 various colours you can get, I've got the white one at the moment. The headset is very light and very flexible, you can see by the rubber tubes at the top of the headset that you can adjust it to your size of head and your shape. So as you can see for me it's a perfect shape and a perfect size, it fits me very comfortable but I can understand if you've got a bigger head it could be quite tight on the ears and around the head for you. After gaming for many hours you don't want any irritation around your ears and you also don't want to hear any outside noise which this thing doesn't allow. Moving to the microphone part you can see that it's very well hidden and it's very well easily to pull out and you can see it's very flexible so you can adjust it to where your mouth is. The inner remote is a very smart feature that they've got, you can adjust the volume of the headset and also the audio of gameplay. The only problem I would say is though, that when you have it at its lowest, you can still hear game volume coming through and you can't actually mute it unless you mute it from the main source. So as you can see here, I'm talking into my microphone that I'm currently using this video for and you can see that the quality is very good. Now this is me using the Steel Series Siberia 200s, so you can see the difference of the quality. The audio jacks are very well marked out, you can see there's an input and an output. It comes with an adapter, the only problem is this doesn't work for Xbox 360 or PS3. You would have to use a different adapter. But when they are together, it has very well marked and it looks good. The only problem is with the wire in my opinion, I wish they had a braided cable. Obviously that can take more stretch and more strain. Obviously by using it more and obviously over time it will get faded. So after trying this on three types of games, the first game I tried was Call of Duty and I played Search and Destroy. So when I was playing that I obviously I wanted to hear for the bomb plants and also people's footsteps and I heard that very clearly through each side and I did get to feel like I was in the game. I tried it on Gears of War and I wanted to see what it would be like playing the campaign with the voices and the chainsaws and the really cool and the gruesome features and the awesome soundtracks. Then I tried it on Far Cry which was very cool and I experienced it when I was in the woods. So when I was walking through I heard the leaves ruffling through my feet. I heard the scenery right behind me and I also felt like I was in the game with all the animals and all that kind of stuff. So it was really really good. So Steel Series say this is the best headset for its price at that class. And I do agree with them this is a very very well manufactured headset. And I really would recommend this to anybody that wants to get a cheap headset. Which is at a good price and has very good features. So guys I'm going to have a little rundown of this headset for the Steel Series Siberia 200, the pros and the cons of what I think. So we're going to go to the first one, I do believe this is a very lightweight and very sturdy uh, headset. It's very comfortable, got decent audio quality for what it is, definitely a value for its money. And it does look very good and it does sit on your head very well. Uh, this is just a couple of cons that I came across this for the next time that they make a headset. Hopefully they could definitely add these in and they're very easy to do. I would like to see a braided cable and not a rubber cable. Also, that the USB adapter does not get included, so you'd have to get yourself one. But if they just added in one, even if they made the headset a couple of pounds more, it wouldn't be a big deal. And also, that the audio, that when you put it down to its lowest, you can still actually hear the headset, and you can still hear some audio at its lowest, and you can't actually mute it completely without going into your actual main source. So guys, uh, my overall rating of the Siberia 200s, uh, I'm going to give it a raw rating out of 10 and I'm going to give it an 8. So I really was happy with these and I definitely am going to use them and I can't wait to see the next model which comes out. Hopefully they take up on some of the pros I think um, and we'll just see what happens. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this. Uh, this is my first ever review 
on a headset. So guys, maybe leave some nice feedback. Uh, anything I could definitely work on, I would definitely take that encounter and I would really appreciate. So again, thank you so much to Sandbox and Steel Series for letting me get this and hopefully giving me this opportunity to do this for them. So guys, I did say at the start of the video that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away my actual first headset that I had and it still works to this day. It's very good and I'll show you right now. So here we go guys, this is it. This is the Steel Series Spectrum 5XB. These are very, very comfortable as well and they're really cool. These are an older generation of ones but they are very good and they still work. So obviously I said I wanted to give back to you guys for watching this and also for being a part of me, uh, following me for so much years. Uh, so guys, basically all I want you to do is drop a comment down below of your Twitter, um, follow me on Twitter, follow Steel Series on Twitter and drop a like on this video and that really does mean a lot. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy this and I will talk to you in my next review in my next video. Peace.